welcome everyone so whenever we talk about english so the first session is active passive voice now active passive voice the word are quite common to us active and passive voice but generally students are confused they have only one perception in their mind whenever we talk about by plus verb third form then it is known as passive voice but we need to identify and how it is used in our common or day to day life that is to be understood actually now let's take one example i say a is there and b is there now understand this example b is playing football b is playing football a goes to c and say a is playing football a is playing football a and c both are at the live location means a is sitting in playground b is playing football and c is sitting with him and he says oh man c b is playing football so this is life situation now try to understand here a and a and c both are sitting at the stadium and b is playing football so it gives a impression and a says to c b is playing football now talk about one more scenario now this c person this c goes to his home and meets d match is still going on that you need to understand this match is still going on means uh, match is of 90 minutes and after 15 minutes c leaves the ground and reaches to his home and he talks to d and d asks where is b now c is not at playground c has come to home and now c answers to d c football is being played by b football is being played by b here a and c both are sitting i mean i'm explaining you once again a and c both are sitting at playground it's quite simple so it's a says to c b is playing football c leaves the ground and reaches to d and over there d asks to c where is c so where is b so he answer football is being played by b now see the difference here we are talking about in a active voice means actions are live means subject or doer is there but when c moves to d obviously he is unable to see the doer so obviously the focus goes to the object that is the situation so my dear friend generally student having a perception they go for by plus third form and they start considering ah, that is passive voice but they are unable to understand what is the reason behind this you go through any newspaper suppose unfortunately two people were crushed by a truck we go through the newspaper and read the same statement two people were crushed uh, recent day i mean uh, yesterday there was an incident in gujarat 18 people were crushed by a dumper and uh, our prime minister offered them 2 lakh rupees for each and every victim so the newspaper statement or headlines was 18 people were crashed by a truck it means the reporter was not there it means reporter was not there a bill was passed by the parliament it means again the subject means or doer was not there means reporter was not there so it gives a clear picture we need to talk about passive voice so i hope my dear friend that is the basic perception of passive voice and this generally appears in our exam especially ssc or banking and moreover whenever you go through newspaper 
I mean, later on we would be talking about the how to read newspaper, especially for UPSC session or banking session because, I mean, especially I talk about banking, the whole exam is related to the, you know, newspaper. Comprehension, close check, para jumbling and the sent uh, what we sentence completion. These four sessions are there and sometimes errors are there, especially I talk about SBI. But generally students are failed because they are talking about only one session that is called error. They keep learning error, error, error and when they, <laughs> when the result comes, so obviously the result is error. So my dear friend, just focus on understanding of English instead of just cramming the errors. Okay, later on we will be discussing about this, but now I come to the next session, uh, how to understand active passive voice with some major rules. Okay, now try to understand. So here we are with some major rules of active and passive voice, some major rules. If I talk about some basic rules, then eight tenses are there, eight tenses, you know, present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect, past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, future indefinite and future continuous. Though there could be changes in future perfect even, sorry, future continuous even, but you know, According to the British English, they never go for that. So even we don't go for that. We follow the same theory of British English. So out of these eight rules, there are certain other rules those happens in our exam. So we are having focus only on these sessions, means some major session of active passive voice. Because today's session, again, I like to tell you, it's only for those students, those are appearing for mains exam. So that would help you to crack the active passive session. So start with the first session. So it's a very simple theory is there, if I talk about the basic theory, that would help you to understand. It says, it says the subject of the sentence is the one doing the action, that what I told you, one doing the action, that is called active voice and obviously even it says, now subject is being acted upon, means now the work is being acted upon on the subject that is called passive voice. There are certain examples are there, very simple examples are there. The researchers compared the behavior of two groups of children and obviously this is object and this will move to this. The behavior of two groups of children because the sentence was in past indefinite. So what we use was, I am just helping you to recall you know all the basic theories. Here the clerk was helping, now what is this? Past continuous. When we talk about past continuous, we need to follow a rule was, were plus being plus V3. Means was, were plus being plus past participle. That's what we done. And it would be started by an object and it was the object over here. Student need, this is present indefinite tense. And in present indefinite, what is required? We go for object plus helping verb plus past participle. And this is good study skills are past participle needed. I know, I mean, you people, you know, are very much fluent about this concept. And you should tell him this is a sentence from modals. So, whenever we talk about modals, we need to use what? Be. And after this, past participle. And this could be ignored. So, that's what we have in basic, but now we are talking about some major rules. Now let's see, now this will help you, I am sure this will help you. Now see, so I am talking about the first one, reflexive pronoun passive, this is important for you, this is important for you my dear. Generally, you know, when we talk about, you know, pattern after 2018 because every year you know I was I mean I've been observing minutely what is happening in exam now the scenario has been changed earlier the question used to be from uh, tenses later on WH but now scenario has been changed these four five types are there if you go through this I mean believe me you will be able to crack this session now see 
रिफ्लेक्सिव पर नाउन पैसिव नेवर बिकम सब्जेक्ट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट रिफ्लेक्सिव पर नाउन नेवर बिकम सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज जनरली वट स्टूडेंट डज ही केयर हिमसेल्फ सो ही स्टार्ट द सेंटर ही स्टार्ट विद दिस हिमसेल्फ ही स्टार्ट विद दिस सो नेवर गो फॉर दैट बिकॉज दिस इज जनरल परसेप्शन सो डोंट गो फॉर दैट माई डियर सो वट इज टू बी डन ही केयर हिमसेल्फ नाउ वट यू नीड टू डू यू हैव टू अडोप्ट द सेम अप्रोच ही वॉज किल्ड बाय हिमसेल्फ मीन्स this himself this object will remain same as an object so you need to follow the same theory the same example salma did herself now again student will start with herself no my dear so salma will remain same see the example means what we have a subject verb object and when we talk about passive object then v3 and then subject this is general perception and students are generally confused because the examiner is quite tricky he always traps you in such kind of circumstances where you are bound to do mistake so i hope you will remember this same or simple example simple rule reflexive pronoun it will not be a subject in passive voice chale so i hope this will be done move to the next one we have a less time quasi passive my dear friend this is my personal this is my personal topic means i love this topic quasi passive now you will be astonished to heard this quasi what do you mean by quasi quasi means subject is there but it's not doing action itself means it is a general perception it is a general theory like it happens see the example i mean first we see the example then you will be able to understand how it is done actually rice sells cheap rice sells cheap so it gives clear picture rice sells cheap whenever you uh, try to buy rice it says it is sold cheap but rice sells cheap now what we need to do we need to change into passive voice if suppose a student is unaware about this then he is going to have you know some rubbish things he will start with this cheap is sold by rice so it it is out of you know out of the world means out of the universe nobody would be able to understand this so you need to understand this theory so obviously this will not be a part of this so it says first you need to do subject rice then you go for be verb is then adjective or adverb over here cheap is an adjective so if it is adverb the same theory is there rice is cheap then you need to have one conjunction when then pronoun of this pronoun of rice will be it then again be verb and then last participle that is third form so rice is cheap when it is sold so my dear friend this this is the damn topic of active passive voice if you are able to understand this then be sure you will be able to crack this in 2020 21 you know pattern has been changed unfortunately 2020 we couldn't go for the exam due to the corona virus but now you know scenario is completely changed exams students are dying to attempt the exam and you know student those are preparing at home by online they will be having you know much of potential they will be able to crack the exam those are st- sitting idle and just waiting when the offline will start no my dear start learning start attempting the question god knows when you know government announced the dates of exam and you have a you know less days so before this happen you must complete your course okay honey taste sweet again the same theory is there honey is there 
helping verb, then adjective, then conjunction, then pronoun, then helping verb, then it is past participle. So honey is sweet when it is tasted. So I hope this session again will help you. The quasi passive, my personal favorite subject, my personal favorite topic actually in passive voice. Okay, so my dear friend, now move to the next one. Now it says voice of infinitives. Infinitives, you heard about the topic? Means whenever you talk about 2 plus 1, that is called infinitive. There are a lots of things to do. This is my infinitive. So answer is B plus V3 means 2 plus B plus past participle that is known as rules of infinitive. So there are a lot of things to be done. I hope, I mean very simple approach is there. You just need to write down and it will help you to write the exam. Me, instead of simple ruling of active passive, I am just targeting only those, those are you know good for exam, those are important for exam. There is no time to lose, there is no time to be lost. Again very simple, just hardly it takes one or two minutes to understand this theory. You have to admit this, you have to admit this, again it will be changing to, you have to be, this sorry, this has to be admitted by you. So this is called passive of infinity my dear friend, it's quite simple. You just need to have a practice and later on we will be having a session of practice. We will be sending some, you know, question answer through some channels and it will help you to understand this session properly. Now move to the next. I have voice of imperative. Must mention this first type. Must read this. First type. Imperative means where subject is missing. Means it start by it start by verb, then it is called imperative sentences. See, open the door, open the door. Now it says, let the door be opened. And what is the rule? We follow this, let then we have an object. What is the object over here? The door. Then we have B. We have B over here. And then we have past participle my dear. So th that what we need to do. It's quite simple. Okay. Again, take one more example. Throw the ball. Now we need to for let the ball be thrown. Let the ball be thrown. Clear my dear friends? And again, we have one more example, do it at once, let it be done at once. So it's quite simple, my dear friend. If you, you know, go through this kind of passive voice, you know, it will never, it will never be a trouble for you in exams. See the second type. Now it says, See, 16th means before that 15 more rules are there. I ignored those rules because those are related to tenses one. Okay. Don't beat the dog. Now, I mean for last three, four years, my dear friend, when I see the previous year question paper, I generally find this. I generally find this kind of example where the start with do not, does not. So don't beat the dog. And now, we need to understand this. Don't beat the dog. Now what to do actually my dear friend? It start with let the dog then not. You need to understand this. Let the dog not be beaten. Let the dog not be beaten. And always remember not and be will be together. It will not be separated. Okay. Help me. Again, 
let me be help the same theory but sometime in exam this answer will not be there then there will be one more option you are requested means you need to understand instead of let me you are just targeting only on one subject means you are talking to someone means you are addressing to someone when you are addressing to someone so obviously you would be starting the sentence with you are requested to help me learn the poem means it could be this or it could be this means both answer are right let the poem be learned or you are asked you need to focus only on one concept that is asked requested overhead is warned so you need to mention this whether it's a requesting whether it's asking whether it's warning whether helping means there could be you know multiple options you need to understand this only so this is called another approach of imperative must focus this not plus b because sometime in exam options are there let not the dog be beaten i again let not the dog instead of let the dog not be beaten instead of this let not the dog be beaten this could be there but you need to be assertive about yourself you are not going to do the mistake okay my dear friends so just finish this now move to the next one voice of imperative third type means this is the you know damn session about exam whenever you talk about any exam i mean as especially ssc then you may find this kind of sentence approaches that there work hard again you don't have any subject work hard so obviously you are addressing to someone you say you are advised obviously when we talk about passive voice we need to have a passive voice over here advised you are advised to work hard so you need to have this approach and the same way get out now you are not going to say you are advised what you need to say you are ordered so you need to adopt this you are ordered to get out so you need just need to focus only on this approach i mean past participle you need to decide what would be the past participle you need to understand the sentence approach then you would be able to understand this okay sometime in our exam generally we have a perception we understand whenever the sentence start with let that would be passive my dear friend then go through this example this is active this is active my dear and it start with let generally we see the answers Uh, so sentences with let are considered as passive voice but when we see the sentence with let and the examiner asks you to convert into passive then the students are confused yeah is it active or passive voice so my dear friend this is for you this will help you to understand this let him read the book let him read the book now you need to convert into passive voice now you say let will remain same let will remain same let now this is object object come to this and b and red obviously the pronunciation will remain will be different let the book be read by him so whenever you find a sentence with let when I mean, you are asked to convert into passive voice so let will remain same my dear friends so these four five types are there i hope you would be able to understand the passive voice and in coming classes we would be discussing about some major rules narration you know some tenses you know blah blah some other things are there and those are with some tricks to crack the exam again i like to say only one statement if you are going for the textbook.com then we are here only to help you for cracking the exam not to making you stronger not to making you a uh, very intelligent just crack the exam this is our basic mantra to take the classes so my dear friend hope very soon we meet you take care thank you and bye bye